Alright, how the... So, we're going to unlock this. So, where the... F oh, here it is, right over here. So, this must be it over here. I'm excited to open it. So, I just went to the post office and got this. So, I'm just right now, I'm going to find something to open it up with. Don't know what. You're probably wondering what this is. This is a uh, 5 watt infrared LED. And right now I'm ready to open it. So I'm just going to get a pair of scissors and we're going to test it out right now. Not the best pair of scissors, but who cares anyway. So the moment of truth. Okay, so. Oh wow. It's a 5 watt infrared LED. It's 940 nanometers, I think. That's what the number says. It. So we're just going to. Uh, it's a star module, as you can see. It's going to be a really bright one. I found this power source. I'm going to uh, power up this thing right now. So, re. Uh, just to let you know, uh, infrared is invisible light, so I'm going to try again with this device. Uh, let's see if I can uh, catch that on camera. So right over here, we've got the LED, just got to try and focus it. Oh my god, it's working. It's very bright. As you can see, it is not working with this camera. because. It's okay, now here's the test results. Here's my f the final part. When you turn it on, you don't see anything because... It's like you, uh, like when you turn it on, you know it's on, like the, how you tell when it's on, you're probably thinking, infrared's invisible. Yes, it is invisible, and that's why if you turn it on, and you can kind of tell if it's on, because of, you just, you do see, you don't see it glowing, like when you turn it on, you actually still see something, like you see red, like you just see a splat of red, it's like, it's not glowing and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to test it out. Alright, now it's all set up. Here's my night vision uh, torch. The reason why I like my sheets all pink um, in this image because it's actually an infrared sheet. Like in real life, as you can see, it looked black. Because I just like calling it black. But it's actually navy blue. If I turn this thing on, as you can see, it's extremely bright. Like if you shine it in that wardrobe there, you just see a and I've also got uh, this this one right over here. Apparently this one is brighter than the other one that I made because th I knew this one is going to be a, a longer wavelength. So these are both infrared, but this one apparently, like, as you can see, you just see vaguely pink, as you can see. But in the human eye, it's like the same brightness. It just looks, when you look, if you look into those LEDs, you actually can see it as red, dots and stuff like that but in the camera it's seeing it as pink because the CMOS is sensitive to infrared light and our eyes just like for an example our eyes the red photoreceptors in our eyes pick it up as red light so so, it's, so it looks red to us but in the camera it looks pink with this one I'm going to show you how bright it is the reason why this one's this one over here is a lot brighter than the other one that I made is because these ones are shorter wavelengths of infrared and therefore the shorter wavelengths make it look a lot brighter and stuff like that. As you can see it's like lighting up my wardrobe. I'll try and do 